Here we have a 2024 Hyundai Santa Cruz. This comes in the night trim level in phantom black. And then we have black h Tex interior. And the powertrain on this Santa Cruz consists of a 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. And that's made it to that eight speed wet dual clutch transmission. And not too many changes, if any, going on for 2024, but we're gonna find out. As we come around to the front end here, this carries over from the 23 model, still a beautiful design with our LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights, and they don't flash like that. That's just how my camera's picking them up. But still one of the better designs I've seen on the front end, even though it kind of took a minute to grow on me. Now here we have 20 inch aluminum wheels. Love that matte black look, or that matte black finish, excuse me. We have fixed running boards here, passive keyless entry on the front. And then power mirror controls are here, left side, right side, adjust with the dial. Power door lock controls are there. You get one touch automatic up and down windows on the front and then just regular power windows on the back. Rear window locks here, storage cubby. And then we have our truck bed light, traction control, and then brightness for the gauge cluster that can be adjusted there. Hood release, manual tilt telescoping steering wheel. And there's our power driver seat with power lumbar support. But I wanna give a huge shout out to Hyundai of Cool Springs for allowing me to review this Santa Cruz today. I'll leave a link below in the description. But let's see if we can get a good look at this window sticker here. Y'all can pause anywhere you need to to take a closer look. And then this, this one sticker is right at 39865. And there are the fuel economy numbers. Well, let's check out this back seat here. And I just looked at the sticker. I said these were aluminum. They're actually alloy, which I didn't expect that. So that's pretty cool. But here in the back seat, that's our leg room there. And since I have the key in my pocket, every time I open and close the door, it kind of beeps at me for a second, but not overly annoying. It goes off after a little bit. But I love we get those seat back pockets on both sides. Don't have anything in the back here, so no charge ports. And then we also don't have a fold down seat, but we do have a bottle holder in each door panel there grab handle here and we can hang a couple plastic hooks or several metal hanger hooks there and we can also fold the seat up and we have a little storage underneath there fuel cap now it doesn't say anything about getting additional performance, at least on the fuel filler there in terms of running premium. And there's the rear end there. And we do have the sliding cargo bay there or the bed cover, excuse me. And then we have storage in here and there's our 115 volt three prong on that side. And then we just have normal storage on the, the left over here, but pretty much the same space. I'm gonna take one quick look on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this up so y'all can see the space. The mats are in the way, but there's the jack and all that. And then take a quick look underneath the vehicle. Spares right there. And there's our exhaust. And then our front passenger seat here is manual. So we can just control the seat back and seat bottom. And then we have a glove compartment here. Tons of owner's manuals in there. Decent size. What I like about this Santa Cruz is I love this powertrain first and foremost I'm glad we get the dual clutch automatic and the 2.5 turbo 
but for under 40 grand you get quite a few features and you also have a pickup truck but there is the 2.5 liter turbo 4 underneath all of that well, let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat So we have the hard plastic vinyl wrap steering wheel here. I don't know why I keep saying the keys not on the vehicle is right there, but anyways. Now over here, we have our navigation screen and we can use the search bar there to type in coordinates and address or a point of interest. So if I start typing in Walmart, it'll give me suggestions and I can't type of course, but so it'll pull that up there. And then as it knows that you're talking about a Walmart, it'll pull up actual destinations. And then you can use voice recognition as well. So it was a pretty neat setup. And the map is also pretty neat. You can just draw out where you wanna go and it'll show you that distance. And then you can set it as a destination. But we do get AM, FM, and XM radio. And then we also have our Bluetooth audio as well as wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. And then we can do all that through there. And our settings in here, we can toggle our sound. And then we also have our general settings here. So if you wanna go in there, change the date and time, change the language, things of that nature, you can do that. And then our vehicle settings are in here. So driver assistance, gauge cluster, all that can be fooled with. And then the backup cameras there, guidelines follow you as you turn the steering wheel. Not the best picture, but it gets the job done. And again, for this price point, I'm not really complaining about that. But down here on the bottom, we do have volume controls and then quick shortcuts. We can even set up a favorites button there and you can customize what you want that to do. And then we have our dual zone automatic climate controls here. And then I'll pull this up on the screen while that's going. So as I adjust here, it kind of shows you on the screen there. And then I can change fan direction here and it'll show me on the screen as well. AC toggle, all of that is down there pretty self-explanatory for the most part very easy to use which i like because not all hvac systems are in some of these newer vehicles but usb port there that's for the apple carplay android auto and then you have the usb port here if you just want charging 12 volt in the middle and then that is your wireless charging pad indicator and the actual pad is right in here and then you have a little additional storage if you want to throw some change or something there and then for the eight speed, just pull this lever behind here, reverse neutral drive, and then you can come over here and manually shift from either the shifter itself or the paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. And where that one is right there, that'll tell you what gear you're in. And then we have our differential lock here. Drive modes, we can go through that. We have snow, smart, sport, and normal mode. And with an all wheel drive system, it's nice to have that snow mode. I'm sure that's quite a bit of fun if you were to take that out in some deep snow, something like that. And then our downhill brake controls here, so you can toggle the camera right there, and then automatic brake hold and an electronic parking brake. You just pull that up to engage to the brake, press it again to disengage. Three stage heated front seats. Center console cubby space, it's an okay size. And there we have the power sunroof so we can tilt or slide that back one touch. And there's a view of the back seat. We do have a manual sliding rear window, so you just pull that latch there to open or shut it. I do like that we have the LED dome lights. Hazards are there. Now back to the steering wheel, our headlamp controls are right here on this left stock. So we have low beams, auto, off, 
And then when the low beams are on, we can toggle the high beams that way, turn them off that way, and then we can flash as well. And then when we're in auto mode, we can toggle the automatic high beams there and then turn those on or off. And then to the right side stock, we have intermittent windshield wipers. So there's one time there, intermittent, low, high, and then we can adjust the intermittent frequency there and then just pull up here for that front wiper fluid. Now to the left side of the steering wheel, we can use this mode button to go through our audio sources once those are set up and customize those the way you want to. If you don't want it to go to AM and blast through your ears straight static, you don't have to have it set up there, which I like. And then we can go through the radio station presets here, volume controls, you can click that for mute. And then we have Bluetooth button here and then our favorites button there. And then for the smart cruise, we can turn the cruise control on and off and then also turn on the lane centering and then we can set all that there. And then this and this are for the gauge cluster. So this goes through the sub menus here and then within each sub menu, we can go through everything that's available there. But I like having that digital gauge cluster. Love the graphics. And then there's our push button start. Finally, here's the key fob with remote start. But next, let's go ahead and take this 2024 Santa Cruz Night All-Wheel Drive out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in this 24 Santa Cruz Night, as I said earlier, I love the 2.5 liter turbo made it with the, the dual clutch here. It's just always been an extremely fun driving experience for me. It just, it feels right. It feels extremely sporty. And it's, it's just quick on its feet. Now I will say when you just give this thing just normal throttle, it's not overly loud. And I think that's what a lot of buyers will appreciate if you want to have that extra power, but you don't necessarily want something that's too much in the sense of just hearing a, a turbo spool or engine sound, exhaust noise, all of that. It's still a very tame vehicle. You just have that additional pep in your step, if you will. But we were in, in normal mode. I want to put it in a sport mode because, I mean, this thing is just, it's, it's quick. If it's anything like the 22, 23, it's extremely fast. But again, just driving around normally, not a lot of traffic, not having to do much. It's extremely tame. We're gonna try out the the manual mode here. We're not gonna give it too much. But the, the feeling of boost you get driving this is just it's incredible, it really is. We're gonna go ahead and put it in a regular drive mode, put it back, actually we'll put it in a smart mode, and then we're gonna test out the cruise control here. And I said this has smart cruise, of course I was mistaken there. This just has a regular cruise control, but you have that lane centering. So it keeps you in the lines, but it won't necessarily keep that safe distance between your vehicle and the vehicle in front of you. And that's one of the issues I have with the Hyundais just in general is we got used to this being the smart cruise button and then you just had a regular dial for cruise, but now it's just the same. But no big deal, I guess. But when it does have the adaptive cruise control, when you turn that on where it says cruise there, 
it'll say HDR or something like that and it'll have the lines you can adjust the gap and all that but again it's just it's a fun truck to drive and it really doesn't feel like a truck you just have that additional usability honestly so I don't even feel right calling it a truck it doesn't drive like a truck it doesn't feel like a truck but you certainly can haul with it and do a a bit of light towing so it's, again it's nice to have that capability now when it comes to competition really the only thing i think that touches this is going to be the the maverick and of course you have small trucks like tacoma as well as the new chevy colorado ranger all of that but this is just it's a different animal and kind of like the maverick i don't even think the maverick touches this because the powertrain is stronger with this 2.5 turbo it has more of a a bigger feel to it it feels more like those subaru bajas as opposed to the ford maverick i feel like this just again has a has more of a presence to it but i think it's a great bargain for 40 grand and this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 hyundai santa cruz night